like the 74U because it is a classic when it comes to now in Tarkov and even in the past. It is always being used and it has never died. This video is all about this gun and why I love it so much. Let's get straight into it. Hey, <laughs> I love this gun, dog. All right, so you could have ergonomic, you'd have recoil, you could have ease of use, you can have all rounded, you know. This gun, you can do so much with it. It's just amazing. Bro, no shot, I actually got him. What the fuck? Did you see this absolute lack of recoil? Now, I did only shoot like three times, but that's besides the point completely. This gun is so good, whether it's modded or not. And I really recommend you try it if somehow you haven't already. So this is our gun, right? AKS 74U. It's uh, modded to shit. Doesn't have anything special on it, but... It is a classic build that I like to stick with. I would go with Waffle Suppressor, but it is quite on the pricey side. Now, if we shoot it, you can see that it does move quite a bit. However, if we go down and check that target, I bet we hit it quite a lot. Oh yeah, uh, these a lot of these bullet holes are from a test run I just did, but. I definitely did hit it quite a bit. You could definitely get more ergonomics from um, not having a scope and having a hollow sight instead, but I prefer the scope. Look at that. Straight up just hit after hit after hit. Alright, so not nearly as good as Waffle Suppressor or the other suppressed one. However, this one is, it's lightweight, it's cheap, and it's just good. Let's get it. Alright, so not much movement with the recoil until around the uh, 15 bullet mark. And after you shoot about 15 bullets, it starts wiggling really, really a lot more than it should. But no one's really spraying that much unless the game is not registering your hits or they have really good armor and you're using shit ammo. So it's not really something to worry about. Yo, I gotta sort this fucking loot, bro. I don't know what's going on. Well, I don't like that there's blood on the door, but uh, fuck it. Now, you know what the worst part is? I have to do a quest. I already got the item for it and everything, so I can't even leave with all this stuff yet. Bro, why'd there have to be a player's gap over there? Just let me get this shit done. I'm gonna put my bag down just in case he kills me.
Well, I didn't see nothing. Well, I survived, so uh, make sure you uh, subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, hit the dislike button, because it actually does let me know if you like the video or not. It is very helpful. Anyway, uh, peace out.